Alright, hey guys, it's Scope. We are here for the first video of the playthrough. Let's play of Pokemon. It was gonna be Heart Gold, but I got a little preemptive and I already started a game on that. So, no way I can start a new one. So, we're actually gonna do Soul Silver. I know there's a lot of you out there that like Soul Silver better anyway. So, we're gonna touch the to start, like it says. Okay, now, what's going to happen is it's going to have these three options down here. The top two are going to tell you controls. The bottom one is going to let you continue. So, we're going to press the bottom one. Yep, now it's going to give us some Japanese text up here. Oh, and then there's Professor Oak. And we don't understand a word he's saying, so we're just going to press A as fast as we can until something happens. Oh! And there's a arrow. How cute! Yep. Uh-huh. Alright, so, Meryl's gone. He's still going to talk. Alright, and then you'll get this screen. Very explanatory. Are you getting boy or girl? Boy or girl? For... We're just going to be a boy. I'll just... And then, are you sure you're a boy? Yeah, we're sure. All right, and then your name. Okay, if you go to the ABC, you can do English characters, which will make things a lot easier, because we'll know when they're talking about us. Right, sorry this is going slow. I'm trying to do it with one hand. Boom! Oh, you guys can probably guess where I'm going with this. Technically, this is Soul Silver. Whoops. But the main character is named Gold. The girl is named Katona or something like that. And your rival is named Silver. So, we're still going to stick with Gold. Plus, Gold is better anyway. Are you sure that's your name? Yep. Alright, Professor Oak's going to babble some more. And then we're going to shrink. Yay! Alright, close up. And now we're in our room, which has a bed, PC, which now looks like a laptop, and a Wii. There's no potion on the PC, sadly. Alright. And our mother is going to come up to us. Gold! See? That's us. I knew that because we put English names. That's right. Alright. So then she's going to babble. In Japanese. And then boom, on your bottom screen, she's going to give you your bag. And also your trainer card. And then your journal, aka your saving option. And then your settings, a tool. She gave you a tool. Alright, and that's all she has to say right now. So let's head out. Oh, look, it's the Meryl. Let's capture it. Pokeball, go! Wait, what's this? See, and there's that Katone chick I was talking about. Apparently she can't keep a hold of her marrow. What a noob. Alright, so now that that useless scene is over, let's get the hell out of here. Oh! Gold! Whoops, sorry guys. You can't go, you don't have a Pokemon, you could get hurt. Oh. All right, well. Screw you, then. I don't even know you. Why are you trying to save me? And there's Silver, over there. If you talk to him, he'll beat the crap out of you. Seriously. He'll hit you. All right, and this is where you eventually want to go. To the lab. Talk to a slightly balding Professor Elm. And he's also going to speak in Japanese. And what he's telling you right now is that his uh, friend, Professor, or no, Mr. Pokemon, had a startling discovery he wants him to check out, but he doesn't want to go, so he's going to send you to do it. So therefore, but you can't, because there's wild grass in between here and there. So you need a Pokemon. Blah 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 blah
So, eventually, we'll let us get a Pokemon. Alright, here we go. So now, guys, just a little info. You can actually save right here. Just save right here. And then, when you go to choose your Pokemon, the bottom screen is going to look a little something like this. And you scroll through it, and then it's going to show the Pokemon. Now, if the Pokemon is shiny, it will appear so on this screen. So you can save right where I told you, soft reset it, and check if it's shiny right there, and you won't have to go through the whole sending them out in battle process. So you can actually go pretty fast if you wanted to. Alright, so I got a couple of comments from you guys on the unboxing video that you wanted to see Totodile as my starter, and actually I was going to think about choosing him anyway. So, uh, yep, we're going to choose Totodile. That's who it's going to be. Not shiny, sadly. That would be epic if we got shiny on the first turn. So there he is, right next to us. That's Toad to Dial. And then, do you want to nickname him? Top option for yes. All right. So, I'm just gonna leave you guys on the top screen. And I'm gonna attempt to name him. Oh, this is very hard. Without a stylus. Got it. Alright. So you guys don't even know what we named him. Ah, no, you know you do. It's Gator. And then hit yes. That we're sure. That's his name. And that's that, Professor Elm. Alright. So it looks like now we're going to head to, uh... Mr. Pokemon's house, which is just past the next city, Cherry Grove. Alright. So he's going to continue talking. Now you're done. Alright, and as you leave here, the aide's going to stop you and give you something. What he's going to give you is five potions. So, if you need it in the upcoming battles, now you know you have them. Instead of going like, oh my god, what did you just give me? I can't read. Alright, and then a new option appeared above your bag, bag, rather, which is that. Let me just click it. And that's your Pokemon. Click on them. First option is the summary, which will give you their info. Top and bottom screen. Stats, moves, ribbons, etc. Alright, let's so back up out of that. Alright, oh, see, whenever it has that little arrow on the screen, that means you're navigating your menu on the bottom screen. So let's get out of here. Alright, and there's that noob with her Meryl again. Yeah. She's gonna tell you, oh, oh, cool, you got a Pokemon? Yeah, cool. Looks pretty tight. Yeah, bye-bye. She's gonna go to her house. Okay, and then if you try to leave again, that chick's not gonna let you. Because apparently... I don't know. She's just a nuisance. So then you're gonna go here, and you're gonna wanna talk to your mom again. Yeah. And she's gonna say, do you want me to save money for you? Which, she can get you some pretty cool stuff. I've heard she's been known to give you moonstones, water stones, sometimes other useful things. Oh, and she also gives you your cell phone, which people will call on constantly if you give out their number. We're going to try to avoid that at all costs, because it's not like we can understand it anyway. Alright, so we're going to click the bottom option. No, we do not want you to keep our money. We need every cent. So, uh, yeah. She'll be like, oh, are you sure? Yeah, come on, please, I need some new shoes. Sorry, Mom. We do the hard work, we get the money. Alright, so now you might be able to leave. Let's try. Ah, uh, what's this? From Professor Elm, nobody wants to let us leave this little hick town. So, yeah, he's gonna be like, oh, your mom gave you a phone? Cool, give me your number. So then you got Professor Elm's number. Pretty sweet. So now we're actually out in the wild. Oh my god, we finally got to leave the town. Alright, we're coming up on the time limit. So in the next episode, we will venture into the wild grass and do some other cool stuff. See you guys then.